And now, here's a look at what's happening in your neighborhood. Move-in day is a fall rite of passage for college students, but it's an even bigger deal for those attending the College of Staten Island who have the chance to live on campus for the first time. Borough reporter Amanda Farinacci has more. Chemistry major D. Essence Reed says she used to travel two hours every day from Brooklyn to get to class at the College of Staten Island. I had to like apologize to my teachers like, you know, I'm coming two hours away and stuff and I felt bad, but like that was my situation. Now I'm like, okay, I can just wake up and walk to my campus. Sunday, Reed was one of the hundreds of students moving for the first time into CSI's dorms, brand new apartment style buildings with private bedrooms and shared living space. It gives you the feeling of being away without really being away. You know, I'm just a boat ride away from my actual home, yeah. so I just need some independence. The two buildings have beds for 454 students. There are laundry facilities, lounges, a fitness center, and study rooms. CSI President William Fritz brought his own waffle irons and recipes and prepared breakfast for students moving in and says the dorms have attracted lots of students from off Staten Island. We have a large number of students from Brooklyn, from the Bronx. Uh, we have students from upstate New York. We have students from uh, Texas and California and states that we've never seen applications from and a number of different uh, foreign countries. There are currently more than 14,000 students attending CSI on both a full-time and part-time basis. And while the number of students living on its campus makes up just a small percentage of that population, the college's president says he's hoping they'll have a big impact. I think that participation in, in the departmental clubs and the academic clubs and student life and leadership is just going to become uh, richer and richer. A partnership between the school and the New York City Housing Development Corporation made the new housing possible. Officials say there's already a waiting list of students interested in living on campus and that's already got them thinking about building a third dorm. On Staten Island, Amanda Farinacci, New York One.